Everyone, it's Rosie here from PlayStation Access. With Street Fighter 6 now only weeks away, I hurricane kicked my way over to Capcom HQ to clean up Metro City's mean streets and try out some brand new modes. As you can hear from the joy in my voice, I had an absolute blast with my Hadoken Phil demo, all captured here in performance mode. So without further ado, let's get to the punching. Here's how Street Fighter 6 is shaping up to be the ultimate fighting game. <laughs> First of all, Street Fighter 6 is so bursting with new modes that it's bulging more than Zangief's entire body. While enthusiasts might want to drive straight into online matchmaking, the star attraction, and my favourite part of the game, is the all-new story-led extravaganza World Tour. Fighting games usually have a bit of a story, but World Tour is a refreshing slice of Street Fighter goodness. As its name suggests, this globe-trotting adventure sees fans taking their custom fighters all across the planet. Taken to the streets of the mode's opening setting, Final Fight's Metro City, World Tour is a love letter to the franchise. Part New York, part San Francisco, this is a sprawling and lively metropolis, complete with authentically slow-moving traffic and a vast amount of bashable citizens. Go on, just give them a whack. Drawing from titles like Dragon Ball Z, Kakarot and Yakuza, you learn from legendary fighters like Chun-Li, unlocking laundry baskets worth of different gear to power up your character, and diving into more hilarious minigames that Ichiban from Like a Dragon could shake a massive massage machine at. Good job! From taking on the cardboard, box-obsessed Mad Gear gang to headbutting pedestrians simply for the sake of it, it's an absurd slice of brawling fun. Also, in true RPG form, your custom hero has a smartphone tucked away in their pocket, where you can receive messages, look at your map, keep tabs on your quest log, and even browse your hard-earned collection of performance-enhancing sweets. I always knew that scoffing sour skittles gave me an edge. I had an absolute blast with our World Tour demo. It gives first-timers a reason to stick around and learn Street Fighter's once intimidating ropes in a fun and relaxed way. From pizza-making minigames that teach you complex moves to yoga lessons with Chun-Li, World Tour is shaping up to be a wonderfully silly slice of single-player goodness. Street Fighter has always been very silly. One of its beloved entries saw a man with stretchy arms battering a truck, and that streak of ridiculousness continues this time out. From the ability to pull silly faces pre-battle to, well, all of the World Tour mode, the sixth entry is guaranteed to put a grin on your wonderful face. Or a frown, or this face, or even that one. The hilarious highlight? The utterly brilliant Extreme Battle Mode, which lets you transform competitive matches into three minutes of pure chaos. In a delicious game and pick and mix, there are two main match modifiers for you to select at the same time. Here, you can choose one format from a selection of rules and regulations and combine it with some truly hilarious random events from the aptly named Gimmicks menu. Rules and regulations change the victory parameters, from demanding that players perform a set amount of actions to win, to heaven and hell's constantly shifting buffs and debuffs, so you and a buddy can use these modifiers to really test your skills. Combine these with the gimmicks and that's when Extreme Battle really kicks off. Think of things like balls that charge across the screen to bouncing explosive balls you hit towards an enemy, volleyball style. Alongside all the wacky business going on in Street Fighter 6 already, the game goes out of its way to ensure that fighters of any experience level can gather around the TV and have a good bit of fisticuffs with each other. How heartwarming. Being able to switch between dynamic, modern and classic controls at character select means that anyone is able to jump into the fight, meaning that you, the master Street Fighter player that you are, surely, can play in classic mode while your pals have simplified inputs. Modern controls transform the game into a four-button experience, allowing you to fire off a special move, like a fireball, simply by pressing triangle. It's a welcome new addition, letting fresh-faced ballers experience the flashiest and most satisfying parts of Street Fighter without having to rely on years of muscle memory. And if you're entirely new to games, there's the even more newbie-friendly dynamic mode. 
It's a setting I lovingly came to call MASH mode, as when engaged, by simply hammering pretty much all of the buttons, you can suddenly find yourself unleashing some serious… mess. Trust me on this one. Adding some easy entry controls is such a cool way to broaden Street Fighter's appeal, and combined with the goofy brilliance of World Tour mode, it will genuinely help a whole new generation of players fall in love with Street Fighter. Maybe even join its thriving competitive scene too! I can't wait to get my practice in. Speaking of competition, Street Fighter VI isn't just great to play, it's fantastic to watch too. When it comes to esports, fighting games have always been a spectator sport where anyone can grab the basics. Two muscle mountains slapping each other under giant health bars? We know what's up. In VI, Capcom's made the tried and tested combat even more thrilling with some new mechanics to keep matches interesting to the very end. It's all down to the new drive system, a brilliant mechanic which allows players to unleash eye-catching explosions of painterly colour the very ones you've since splashed across all the trailers. This colourful new creation levels up the risk and reward elements of fights, meaning you have to master a meter that fills up across the match to land the difference between a killer blow and a humiliating defeat. In a nice touch, Drive Impact lets you absorb hits, an explosion of colour functioning as a pretty shield that uses one chunk of your precious Drive Gauge. Drive Parry does exactly what you'd expect, allowing you to repel an opponent's attack and even replenish some of your drive gauge, if you nail the timing. Remember Street Fighter's EX attacks? Well, here they've had a bit of a rebrand, renamed to the snazzy-sounding Overdrive. Performing a special move by pressing two of the same buttons delivers one of these bad boys. You also have Super Arts, massive spectacular ultimate attacks, and become more powerful as your gauge fills. The end result is a deep and satisfying combat system, which makes Six one of the most exciting fighters going. Newcomers like Manon, Kimberly and Marissa are shining stars, adding well-balanced new movesets, fabulous ultimate attacks and distinct personalities to an already banging roster of great characters. I've saved the best till last, the hilarious character builder. Thanks to a jaw-dropping level of control over almost every inch of your character's body, you can create the tiny-headed, massive-handed monstrosity that you see here in our footage. Everyone, say hi to Access Owl. Hello. In the closed beta, we were witness to some truly horrific creations, some of which I'm fairly certain will haunt our dreams forever. I love that Capcom has given the community tools to create some proper meme-worthy martial artists, and I'm genuinely excited to see what heavy-hitting horrors you will come up with. If you've already made any fight-ready freaks, please don't hesitate to send us your best and we will, lovingly, recoil. Capcom's latest feels like the most fully-rounded fighter it's made yet. Street Fighter VI channels the best of both Street Fighter and Tekken to create a fighting game that feels just as fun and enjoyable as it is tournament-ready and serious. It's shaping up to be the ultimate fighter, and we can't wait to see how World Tour unfolds, the recently announced DLC characters handle, and of course, bear witness to the inevitably harrowing characters you will create at launch on the 2nd of June 2023 on PS4 and PS5. Thanks for watching our Street Fighter 6 preview. What do you think about the game so far? Let us know in the comments. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this, and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date with the world of PlayStation. Thank you all so much for watching. PlayStation.